means I'm getting pretty old, I guess. Uh, uh, it's hard to believe it, it's been that many games and, and it's been 27 years worth of basketball. Um, easily seems to me like it could be eight or ten because uh, it's so a lot of fun. It's really enjoyable. Um, it's fun to compete. It's fun to you know put teams together and try to get them to uh, achieve or, you know, or overachieve. Uh, you know that's still a blast. I mean, it's uh, it's just that 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 part of it's to, you know to get to work with the, the young men and try to mold them together and, and try to do to get get them to do things that maybe they didn't think they could do. I mean, that's a lot of fun. Um, you know, as far as uh, uh, you know, a milestone thing is. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. I'm kind of glad that uh, I'm kind of glad we got that. I guess I was uh, maybe a little more nervous than I thought I'd be, but uh, I'm kind of glad that it's, uh, it's finished. But uh, uh, you know, hope, hopefully there's a lot more ahead too. But uh, you know, I, I haven't I haven't scored. It's been a long time. I'm not even sure when I played if I ever scored winning baskets. So I haven't. I'm sure I haven't for 27 years. Uh, that's a credit to the kids that, that played a game for us and the coaches and help out. You know, we always preach team. This is no different. There's a lot of people involved in this, and uh, you know, I really thank them for all their help and support they've done over the years. Uh, but Leland Brown's been playing for us for four years. You know, he came on board as a freshman. And, uh, you know, he's got a really good basketball IQ. Uh, he's been playing really well at both ends of the court. You know, he, he makes some plays. Uh, he's one of our top scorers. Jake Geary is one of our top scorers. Um, you know, I thought he played really well tonight. He just he, he played really strong around the basket. Uh, you know, that's, and that's kind of what we're looking for out of him. Uh, but again, you know, they, sometimes you can't make the plays without that supporting cast. So, uh, you know, they had to find uh, find Jake or find Leland sometimes in those spots so that they could make some plays. So, a uh, good team effort. Those two probably stuck out tonight. I uh, got a nice. Uh, First off the bench from Mark Harmus, I found a point guard spot, uh, also in our, in our post uh, position, um, to a junior and, and a sophomore. Uh, Dan Perglisa started, and uh, Brandon Elmore came in. I thought they both played well. Elmore gave us some quality stuff down the strikes, and the baskets in the first half. So, you know, it's nice to see people step up and make plays. Uh, a couple things, a couple shots dropped. You know, last night we had so many good looks at the basket, we couldn't buy a basket. It was unbelievable. We were 1 out of 27, 1 out of 28 from the three point line with good looks. Uh, tonight we hit a couple threes. Uh, then they started to create a little bit of a gap. I thought our defense at the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter uh, we played 2 3 zone. I thought that really kind of uh, stifled them uh, a little bit. And, and, uh, you know, they threw a lot of passes. They didn't quite get the shots they wanted. And in the process, we ended up coming down, making some plays. And, you know, so we're up three, then it goes up to seven or eight, and we get double digits. So kind of a combination with making some plays in the offensive end, but I thought our, our, our defense kind of stifled at the end of the third and really in the fourth quarter.